you might not have known that we already have a missile defense system in place in Greenland and on the West Coast that protects us against the launch of intercontinental ballistic missiles detected by satellite. And once it's seen coming over the horizon, we have means of destroying them in mid-flight. Now, let me distinguish the two kinds of weapons. So a ballistic missile gets launched, but with such velocity and at such altitude that it leaves Earth's atmosphere. And most of the distance it traverses is suborbital, which means once it leaves the atmosphere, only gravity commands its trajectory from there onward. And that's the definition of the word ballistic. If something is ballistic, its arc is measured entirely by the force of gravity and by nothing else. What makes ballistic missiles so deadly is that because they're suborbital, you can launch from any place on Earth and hit another target within 45 minutes because a full orbit around Earth, low Earth orbit, takes 90 minutes. So you're never gonna have to go three quarters of the way around the Earth to strike an enemy. You would just go the other direction. So if you wanna protect against this, you wanna do it while it is in the larger part of its orbital path. Later on, it becomes much, much harder to do so. The most straightforward way of detecting a ballistic missile is on launch, because that's when it has a signature that can be identified by our satellites in orbit. These are reconnaissance security satellites. And once you get that, and once you have its trajectory, you can then instantly calculate what an intercept would be. And provided you have missiles ready to do so, uh, you are protected. So that would be a ballistic missile. Then you have other kinds of missiles, hypersonic missiles and artillery, these kinds of things, where often you can launch those from mobile platforms. So you don't always track where it might come from. And so a launch might be successful and you'd have to sort of wait until it got high enough above the horizon to detect what it is, where it's coming from, and possibly do something about it. So it's two sort of categories